There is an artesian well that's been around since the early 60s, I believe. So here we are at the Biconia artesian well, where this beautiful sacred water has been flowing for more than 50 years. People for miles around come to fill up their containers with water and that's been going on for generations. It's uh, always been a free source of water that's kind of community controlled. And so the water, it comes directly from the aquifer. It's cold, it's living, it's flowing, and it's moving. All of the things that make water healthy and it hasn't been contaminated by any chemicals. It has been tested to be a very pure source of drinking water. And just this year, there's been some political action on the part of the municipality, which is St. Clemens, that's the municipality that we're in, to privatize that water or to seal that uh, artesian well that's been free flowing since the early 1960s. And so there are surveys out there and there's a lot of political debate about that water because so many people rely on it. Last year, it went dry for the first time. People couldn't access that drinking water. So that tells us that there's some dramatic shifts in the water table. The province of Manitoba is imposing a regulatory structure where they'd like to test and treat the water using chemical treatment method as well as tapping this to reduce the flow and to uh, preserve the aquifer. So it's a very contentious subject because this water will then change into uh, a structure more akin to a municipal treated water structure rather than a natural flowing artesian well from the earth. Uh, a methodology of chemical contamination. It, it basically kills all the living microbes and microorganisms in the water. Uh, it destroys the crystalline structure of the water and it doesn't work to a holistic water health, which is really sad because water in its natural form, it's energetically and structurally harmonized to the earth as it travels up from the, uh, our, uh, the aquifer is deep in the ground and electromagnetically charged by the, uh, the Earth's crust. And then when we receive that water, it's energized. So, you know, when it goes through these uh, anthropomorphic filtration systems, it, it does degrade that structure of the water and the health impacts that, that follow. I'd like to see this water remain just like it is. I've been drinking it all my life and I feel like it's so healthy. Even just drinking this water fresh from you. The fresher the better, you know, you just drink it right out of the drink it right out of the That's the best. You know, I, I talk to people when they come to the water spring. It's like a, a gathering place of all the people who collect this water and, and appreciate it. And everybody that I talk to, they say that this is the best water. They've been coming here all their lives. And it could very well be the fountain of youth.